Abigail. I did something terrible. When I made the choice to start drinking, I still thought that my body was mine to destroy. Pain, tolerance, and personal responsibility were synonymous in my mind. So naturally, I strove to make myself as strong as possible. Strength was always measured in my ability to resist pain. Without the ability to feel pain, I could do anything, be anything. And that is exactly what alcohol did. It took all the pain away. And in my twisted mind, I thought it made me immortal, but that was a lie. And I extinguished my last lantern in the hopes that being blind would make me invincible. I became an animal, stripped off my only moral compass and blinded by a lust for power. I drove myself into the deeps of human depravity, all because I was terrified of everyone else finding out that I wasn't good enough. destroyed not only my own body, but the one of someone that I love more than anything else. In my fury, I damaged the most beautiful thing I could think of because I was afraid of losing it. I was so certain that I would lose you that I drove myself mad, trying to find a way to escape the inevitable realization that I did this to myself. After that awful night, I came to the ledge that you and I walked past the first day we met. You told me you were afraid of heights, so I walked near the ledge for you, so that you wouldn't have to be afraid. I went back to that ledge, terrified, half human, half animal, and at first I thought that I would sacrifice myself to make it all better. But I didn't jump, not because I lacked courage, but instead I discovered it. I knew that my death would leave your wounds open, and in that selfish act, I would destroy any chance I had to make it right. So I understand who I am, and what I need to do. Please do not think that I am asking for you to give me another chance. I know I deserve nothing from you. I wrote you this letter because I owe you what little I have to give to make amends for what I have done. I'm going to stop by a house on Saturday. I'll knock three times so you know it's me. If you don't want to see me, I understand. But if you can bring yourself to answer the door, I can show you that animals can become men again.